Hi everyone, my name is Dodd Bilas, you're watching my YouTube channel and today I will talk about Edinburgh. Edinburgh is Scotland's compact hilly capital. It has a medieval old town and elegant Georgian new town with gardens and neoclassical buildings. Looming over the city's Edinburgh Castle, home to Scotland's crown jewels and the Stone of Destiny. Used in the coronation of Scottish rulers Arthur's seat as an imposing peak in Holyrood Park with sweeping views and Calton Hill is topped with monuments and memorials. Edinburgh replaced Scone as the capital of Scotland in 1437. Edinburgh has more per head of population than any other city in the UK. The capital is also home to 112 parks, the lungs of the city. Edinburgh Castle sits on Castle Rock, a 700 million year old extinct volcano. Make sure you are here at 1pm to hear the 1 o'clock gunfires be shot from the castle. This takes place every day in the capital city except Sundays where spectators gather in the park to watch. Unicorns may not be real but that didn't stop Scotland choosing the mythical creature as its national animal. The country is famed for its myths and legends. So if one place had to have a unicorn, it had to be Scotland. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival in August is the biggest arts festival in the world. Then there's the Edinburgh International Book Festival, the largest festival of its kind. As of 2018, Edinburgh University ranked to 20, 22nd in the best universities in the world and 6th best university in Europe. The university has many historic buildings based in the medieval old town. The city, the city actually owns the beauty of its landscapes to the most recent ice age. The obvious tale feature from Castle Rock to Holyrood, the edge of the Royal Mile and the deep valleys on either side of Cowgate and Norlock were all formed thanks to the miles of moving ice sheets that shaped them. The world's knighted penguin lives at Edinburgh Zoo and his name is Sir Nils Olaf. The king penguin's role includes inspecting the Norwegian guard on their visit to the Scottish capital and since his knighthood in 2008 he's been promoted in the ranks to brigadier only in Edinburgh. More than 4,500 buildings make the list making Edinburgh home to the most listed sites in the UK after London. Much of J.K. Rowling's inspiration for the Harry Potter deprived from Edinburgh. In fact, she wrote the majority of Harry Potter books while living in the city and you can visit some of the coffee shops and hotels such as Elephant House and Balmoral Hotel where she spent time writing the novels. There will be over 3,000 shows will be staged with a total of 50,000 performances across 30 venues. The population of Edinburgh doubles in size during French, the people travelling from far and wide just to experience it. The festival should be on everyone's bucket list this year. It kicks off on 3rd August. Altogether, Edinburgh's festival will generate over £260 million for the Scottish economy and create the equivalent of 5,242 full-time jobs each year. I hope when you visit Edinburgh you will enjoy it. If you like my videos please subscribe and share with others. Thanks for watching. Bye.